What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. This my friends is New World. That's right, the brand new game that's taking over the internet. Everyone's talking about it. It's an MMORPG and I cannot wait to hop into the world of Eternum to explore and craft and build and battle and everything else there is to do. This is gonna be a crazy new adventure. Huge thank you to New World for sponsoring this video. If you guys want more information on the game and you wanna play yourself, check out that top link down in the description. As always, I really appreciate you guys' support and uh, without further ado, let's just hop into it. This game is insane. It was a dark and stormy night. Stories you've heard, they don't tell the whole truth. The island is indeed the place of legend. There's power and vast riches as well. But those who've gone before you have simply vanished, never heard from again. I saw the horror, the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. He's corrupted. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. So we're trying to go to a faraway island filled with riches and opportunity. But it's protected by an evil. Oh, okay, here we go. Gonna create our character. That was kind of a, a slick little cutscene right there. So we're gonna be a male. What do you guys think for the face here? Gonna try to make him look kind of like us, but also, I mean, like, I, I like some scars and stuff. I like to look a little worse for the wear, a little weathered. Dude, we have so many different hairstyles and, and stuff that we can go with here. Something like that's kind of cool. I don't know, something a little bit different. We've got kind of a, a curly, you know, comb over type thing with a crazy mustache. Do we want to change up the, the color at all? Do there's so many different options here? I mean, you, you could have orange hair if you wanted. Blue, blue, green. I mean, we've got so many crazy. Ooh, white is pretty, pretty intense. Black is pretty intense. I'm going to say let's, let's go with ah, kind of a purpley. Tattoos on the side of our face. Okay, kind of an, oh, oh, we've, we've got... We've got many options here. Fabulous. What about something something like this? We've got kind of a, a little snake on the cheek here, but it's hidden a little bit underneath our hair. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. There it is. Ooh, look at that little smile. Okay. Not smiling for too long. And fate has struck yet again. Just like many a crew before us. We made it to the beach. Welcome to Eternum, huh? Okay, we're gonna draw our weapon here. Not 
not really sure what this this guy oh we can dodge as well nice not really sure what this guy is but we're going to uh we're gonna bring it to him we've got light attack heavy attack dodge and block captain Aljuis thor you come closer your captain needs you there's something wrong i'm not feeling right you don't look good cat devil storm what in the nine hells was that about and where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat. I, I don't have the box, Captain. Something isn't right. To come so close. It's not fair. What, what's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. So survive. Got a worn round shield and light rations. Gonna be able to take a look at our inventory. Gonna put those there. We can put this on our three. Beautiful. And it looks like it's gonna be up to us to uh, carry on forward. All right, gained a little bit of health back from our uh, our food there. We can jump. We can roll. And it looks like we've got some enemies out here. Lead in with a heavy attack. He's down. Here, I kind of like leading in with a heavy. Then we can dodge out of there. Come back in. Nice. Okay. Dude, this is gorgeous. Got another guy. Drowned sailor block breaking. Okay, so we want a heavy attack to, to block break. Woo! Kind of knock him back a little bit, stun him, and then we can come in there. Sword and shield, we're going to be able to purchase some upgrades. So this is going to give us the whirling blade ability. 145% weapon damage to all foes within 2 meters. It's going to be a good kind of like area of effect attack here. So we can hit Q and... Okay. And then we've got a 15 second cooldown. Alright. Making our way up into the jungle here. Welcome... To a turnum, baby. New world. The start of a grand new adventure. We are just but a youngling. We've got so much to unlock, so much to progress, so much to uncover. Where does it want us to go? Down this way? Oh. Looks like we might have some some corruption down here. Is that our captain? Okay. Now I know the island's secret. Now I know true power. He's got fire attack, so I I feel like dodging might be better than than blocking. I'm gonna try to try to roll out of there when we can. Slicing him down. Where did he just send me to? We were winning that fight. We're now spawning in on the beach. Okay, here we go. Oh, we can we can collect flint here. Obviously, every single resource, every single material here is, is going to be used for crafting. So, I, I would imagine we probably want to pick these up. Got to be careful. You don't want to over-encumber yourself. But eventually, we're going to be able to get pickaxes and start mining rocks and, and doing all kinds of stuff. So, it looks like... Are you the man, Lason Reese? Hello there. Rough landing, wasn't it? A wee um, bit. Wow, you're actually looking quite healthy. All things considered, <laughs> luckier than most. Okay, so Layson gave us our first objective here. We want to go defeat the Drowned. Some of our shipmates who weren't as fortunate as we were to come back to the Living Realm. And for that, we're going to be able to get 200 XP, some coin, some Duelist Pants. All right, we're going to be able to take that on. We also leveled up, so we do have some attributes that we can throw in here. Now, the cool thing is, is you can respect these up until level 20. So we can try out different, different 
you know, options, different strategies, stuff like that. Okay, so Layson gave us our first main story objective, which is to go take down three drowned, which are, you know, some of our less fortunate um, shipmates and stuff that were on that wreck. So we're going to get some XP, some coins, some pants for that. We also have two attribute points we're going to be able to use here. So we've got strength, dexterity, intelligence, focus, and constitution. See, like constitution is going to, you know, increase your health. Focus is with your life stats. So that's kind of like a healer. Intelligence is going to be some of your, your magic and stuff, as well as muskets, dexterity. You've got spears, muskets, bows, hatchets, sword and shield. And then strength, of course, is kind of your main... Uh, handed weapons. I think uh, let's try some some intelligence here. Maybe I'm gonna do two to intelligence So the, the cool thing is is up until level 20 you can always respec so I can take these back and and just you know Try different things and see what I like the most But yeah, we're, we're gonna go with intelligence to start things off. Maybe have a, a bit of a magic build I don't really know what the the best options are, but we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to try different things out. And we're just going to kind of see what happens. So let's go. Uh, this is our shipwreck over here that he mentions. Let's go see what we've got going on. Oh, okay. Going to be able to help out some of our, our fellow brethren here. Obviously, you know, lots of playing with friends opportunities here. I don't currently have anyone online with me, but this is, you know, kind of the name of the game is... is Either working with people you know in real life or you, you know, join factions and teams and, and run out and there's PvP, there's PvE, there's all kinds of stuff happening, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. We defeated three, I just, I, I kind of want to keep getting some, uh, some XP here. I feel like, you know, early on it can't hurt to kind of farm up a little bit just to, to get a feel. A feel for attacking these guys and the cool thing is is, is with everything we do like right there we, we just got sword and, and shield mastery three so we're every time we do something with some sort of a weapon or whatever we're leveling it up you guys can see we've got trade skills here so weaponsmithing armoring engineering like the, this is so incredibly deep there's so much that you can do and you, you can you know try to be a jack of all trades and, and level everything up you can try to be a little bit more focused you know i, I feel like Magic's gonna be kind of fun. I think it'd be pretty cool to, to maybe even be a bit of a healer, you know, fit fit right into a a group and and a lot of people kind of tend to love doing most of the damage, which is fun. But at the same time, if we could become a healer and really kind of help out in that regard, could be kind of interesting, just as a different method of of playing. Look at that, starting starting to ooh found some stuff here come pick this up i'll take that so we can ooh, iron cartridges all right these guys can randomly drop loot i'm gonna farm a couple more i don't want to spend all day here but just trying to get us a nice little head start okay let's oop I'll, I'll take i'll take the loot give me the loot let's go got some flint arrows and stuff i'm i'm feeling pretty good we're at i think what are we level level four uh we're, we're level three so anyway good decent start here just starting to, to get the basics down a little bit. Let's go back and talk to Layson and, and see what he's got in mind for us next. Yes, it's grim work, but I hope it gave you a little closure. Hey, ready to embrace your new life in Eternum? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Some of it is actually quite nice. Dude, if I could get some armor like that, I'd, I'd be down. All right. Give me my rewards. We got some duelist uh, pants. Like I said, I didn't think to bring along mead. But I do hope you feel welcome. Warm yourself by the fire. Cook something, if you like. All right, gonna teach us Sorry. how to cook. But there's some delicious boar nearby. Get some flint and wood. Make a skinning knife at the fire, and I'll point you in the right direction. So we've already got more than enough flint. We've been running around picking that up. We're gonna be able to get wood just from straight up bushes here. Looks like tall bushes, short bushes, any of them work. Go over to the campfire here. We're going to want to craft a, uh, a a skinning knife, right? Let me see if we can find skinning flint, skinning knife. It's going to take one flint, one wood. Go ahead and craft that. First thing we've ever crafted. Obviously, crafting is, is going to be, you know, kind of a, a, major, a major part of this game. Ooh, I see a bunch off in the distance. All right. It's time to go to work. Hopefully, we don't have to fight a whole... A whole pack of them. I didn't realize they were this big. Hey, you there. It's a level two. Gonna come up in here. Try to use our ability. Nice. That was 
Easy enough. Gonna skin this guy up. Make sure nobody else tries to run up on us. Okay. So, I, I mean... It's just kind of teaching us how to, how to survive out here. How to craft. How to get food. How to cook the food. That sort of thing. Nice. Nice little tutorial. We got some tracking and skinning points there. It looks like if we kill one more. See, this this is my favorite part, dude. Just really learning how to... Ooh, okay, they, they do fight back. You gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. We can block them, though. But yeah, this, this is my favorite part. Like, you know, starting from the bottom and, and slowly working our way up. So I think this guy should take us to a level two of tracking. And obviously, over time, we're gonna be able to track bigger, badder, crazier animals. Look at that. Or technically level level one, I guess. Heading back to the campfire here. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, we want to make the, the light ration. Yep, go ahead and... I mean... Let's make six of them. Why not? While we're already here. I don't know how long it's going to take these to... Uh, you know, go bad. But at least... At least we'll have them. It's adding to our cooking skill. Beautiful. Alright, go back and talk to Layson. Mm, that smells delicious. <laughs> You're lucky you washed ashore and never fall. We have the tastiest game, and really the best tasting food in general. All right, I'll take the armor case. It's kind of exciting. The Everfall settlement is not too far. You'll want to head up there soon, uh, but I hope you'll stick around for a bit longer. Perhaps help me deal with this mess. What do you got for uh, me? You've probably already realized this, but the storm that wrecked your ship and others, it wasn't exactly natural. <sighs> Corruption. Always been a fact of life here, but honestly, that was the worst storm I've ever seen. That's the Just question. Still a threat. We need to be sure. We also need to gather records We're gonna get from a these ships. So, maybe you can help with that and look for any lingering bits of that nasty corruption. It would mean a lot. So we want to search shipwrecks for records and remnants. Looks like we've already got quite a few other players. I, I love how everything's alive. Like, there are people in here working together. We've all, I mean, at least right now, we've all got kind of a common goal. Obviously, as time goes on, you kind of pick sides, and you may not all be on the same side anymore, but uh, it's it's still, still pretty cool. So it looks like we can kind of take out some of these guys. Might as well get a little extra XP. All the while looking for ship logs and stuff like that. Maybe someone in here. Beautiful. Looks like you might be into something here, Mr. Level 3 Drown Sailor. Ooh, this guy's a level 15. He's been grinding like crazy, huh? Supply stockpile. I'm gonna go ahead and get my grubby little fingers in here as well. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna put my, my pants on. I'm gonna put my, my boots on. I'm gonna put my hat on. All right, that's what I'm talking about. At least we've, we've got something kind of going on here. So we need to find the ship's manifest as well as the ship's roster. Here's the manifest, beautiful. Sorry to interrupt your, your slumber. You looked pretty, pretty happy and content there, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Is this it back here? Ooh. He stood up, was ready to go, ready for a fight. Now, this is another supply cache. Could this be something back here? The roster. Ah, okay. Just gonna keep moving through here. Thank you for the help, my man. Looks like we've got another shipwreck off in the distance that we're gonna want to go grab. I see where we're going. Me and Al Brennan are gonna run this together. Looks like these guys are getting slightly, slightly higher levels and stuff. We've seen a couple level threes, but ooh, look at that. Just two two homies just working together, cutting through these fools. Let's go. Looks like we got something here on our left, my man. Let's take these guys out. Let's grab this. Search the ship's locker at the wreck of the temperance. So I believe that's going to be probably inside. I would imagine. Nicely done. Loot this. Got some more arrows and such. Is this what we're looking for? The ship's locker. Also got another supply stockpile here. Getting all sorts of cool stuff. Solvent, spears, all the above. So can we, like that spear 
I don't, oh, we don't have a second weapon slot unlocked yet. We could put it on here, so then we could, you know, go around and pokey pokey people, but I kind of, I kind of like our sword. So I, I've respect my sword and, and shield here, and I, I got the three abilities that we can get right now. So we have Whirling Blade, Reverse Stab, and then also this Leaping Strike. I kind of want to try this out. Let's go see. Oh my goodness. Dude, okay, so you can, you can kind of see how things start to progress. Thank you. Remembering the ships that crashed here is kind of a tradition in Everfall. It may seem a bit silly, but it helps us feel connected to the old world. Treated a wooden bow. Oh, there's definitely still remnants of corruption about. And that is really... Not good. I can take care Be of it. more precise, in fact, it's a bit of a disaster. If the corruption gets entrenched down here, it'll reach the settlement in no time. Well, let's ah, go take simple. care of it. We have to find the source and destroy it. Whatever it is, I think it's an undertow cave. I won't complain if you go investigate, but just... Be careful. The Undertow Cave. Uh-oh, looks so well. Brennan's up in front of us. Let's go, buddy. I'm gonna try to take take care of these guys really quick. Ooh, what do you want? Supply cash? Yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna follow Albert in. We're gonna see what we've got going on. I mean, hello. Gonna take him down as well. Loving all these abilities. We're really starting to kind of find our own a bit here. Gotta be careful and... Really do have to worry about focusing on, on defense first, I feel like, is, is going to be important for us. All right, let's go, Alberton. We got this, baby. I'm going to lead the way. So you come in, hit a, hit a couple of shots, and then, and then get on D. We've got guys up top. I'm going to go up and try to, try to get him. Nice job, Alberton. All right, let's keep moving. We're looking for the source of the corruption here, buddy. And it looks like we might be getting a bit closer. Let's hit the supply cache first, and we've got some... some baddies behind us. War hammers, coarse sandpaper. Grenadiers down. Okay, what? We can, we can come through this veil. Let's get it, baby. Will this defeat the corrupted chaplain? Corrupted swarmer? We got a crawler here, gents. These guys are kind of fairly a quick attackers, I'm not going to lie to you. You with me, buddy? Gotta hit him. I honestly feel like hitting and, and backing away is, is gonna be our best bet. So it looks oh this this is who this is who we're taking out. Okay. We got a chaplain here, let's go. Make sure you dodge when you can, Trev. There it is. Woohoo! Me and Albert and Let's go, baby. I'll take the loot. Defiled hatchet. Looks like we're going to be able to get in this weapons chest as well. Okay. A life staff. I think that's a healer. If we wanted to try being a, a bit more of like a healer type, could be kind of interesting. Okay, I think... Uh, I think we're good. I mean, if there's anything in here we can explore, I wouldn't mind grabbing some more loot, but... I think we made it. Just gonna follow you down, buddy. I hope. Oh, well, we took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. One more for good measure. I, I like my man Al Brennan. First of all, let's go ahead and let's open this armor case. We got a cloth shirt and a cloth dress. Yep, that's that's great. That's exactly what we were looking for. I mean, we could put a. Uh, well, that's I was gonna put the shirt on. That's the the dress. The dress looks nice, but I like the shirt a little bit better. So we've we've got the bow here. If we want to, we need to get arrows. For it. Oh, we put the arrows over here. Okay, now we're gonna have arrows. So we can I mean let's let's try hunting with an arrow just to get a feel for it. Black boar right here. Woo! 
Woo! Then we can swap over. Oh, he is, he was angry. He was charging up, but we're good. Not gonna let any meat go, go spoiled here, go bad. Go untouched, so we're, we're gonna skin him up. We also have this life staff, which we could put on our two. Now, what can we do he Does this heal? Okay, we're now a magician. This is, this is great. This is what I was wanting. Let me cast a spell on this boar. Let me see, let me see how this works. I thought a life staff might, ooh. We've got some, oh, okay. Out of the way, some ranged attacks here and obviously using it, we're gonna, obviously using it, we're gonna level it up. Life magic mastery, we just leveled that up there. Okay, this, this is cool. So now we need to start, we really need to start thinking, what do we wanna be? Like I, to be honest, I really like kind of using the sword and shield, getting up in people's faces, but I feel like that's what, most everyone does. I feel like being some sort of a, a wizard would be kind of cool. I also, I don't know what it is, but if we're really going to grind this game hard, I kind of feel like being a healer is not not the worst idea in the world. All right, Layson, we're good to is... go. <laughs> wow, you really took down that corrupted thing without any backup? I oh, we had a friend. I am really impressed. Thank you. If the source of the corruption is cleansed, the hard part of our work here is done. So looking at our character screen here, it, it looks like focus is the primary attribute for the life staff. So I just respect, we're gonna put all of our points, all 10 points so far into this, this thing. I just kind of want to try it out. I, I mean, I'm assuming that's gonna make this more powerful. Let me, let me go see if a charged up attack on a boar is gonna work, work better. We did get our next, um, our next objective. We want to go take a message from our, our boy Layson over to uh, to Everfall. So we're gonna go find our, our first, our first town, our first settlement should be kind of fun. Gonna travel around. There is fast travel in this game and you can like buy inns and stuff like that. But as of right now, we're pretty much required to just hoof it. I wouldn't say this is an, an incredible. And an incredible, you know, improvement on uh, on damage or anything yet, but we'll we'll get there. I'm I'm not worried about it. So to craft the flint logging axe, we're gonna need one flint and one green wood. So I'm I'm gonna craft that, and then I'm also I'm gonna set that as our active tool, sure. And then I'm also gonna try. Is there like a pickaxe, flint mining pick, one flint, one green wood? Okay. So nice and easy, nice and basic. We're getting our, our, you know, set set basic tools right now. And then we're going to go back and we can start chopping down some trees and stuff. Just kind of want to get a feel for everything. Obviously, this is kind of the intro to it for us. So now anytime we come up here, we could just start cutting down young trees. Wow, it, it takes a while. I have seen people talking about it. You know, obviously, you're, you're constantly unlocking things as you're playing and you're... you're you know, kind of don't even have to think about leveling up certain attributes of your character. I have heard that logging is one that you actively have to go out there and just chop down a bunch of trees. So, that's exactly what we're going to do here. And it's just, it's, it's kind of cool, you know, to see the progression. I'm not even sure where this is going to take us eventually, but I'm sure you guys know. Like, you know, you, you pick up flint and, and sticks out of a bush to be able to make an axe. And then with that axe, you can cut down trees to make a better axe. And, you know, it, it just kind of, you keep improving your tools and, and unlocking new abilities and, and getting better equipment and stuff, which is, is kind of fun. I don't know. I just, I, I love games like this that are kind of a slow burn, kind of like a slowly but surely getting better type of a deal grinding and and getting rewarded for it of course we've also got these boulders that we're going to be able to hit here so there's there's flint all over the ground or if we finish up this boulder here we're going to get stone and you know obviously with stone and and probably some of the wood that we're getting we're going to be able to make stone tools and those are going to be better than flint tools and it's it's just a hierarchy can we cut down these big trees or do we not have the ability i mean that ooh a mature tree requires logging skill of 50. I was gonna say, let me let me just, you know, even if it's gonna take 15 minutes, I'll stand up, I'll go get a snack, I'll get some water, I'll, you know, do whatever. Go to the bathroom, take it easy. But no, again, it's, it's all about, you know, slowly but surely leveling up over time. Okay, enough, enough wasting time here. We're, we're gonna keep on moving. Look at this, dude. This is just insane. 
Oh my goodness. So you, I mean, you can kind of see that the forest is starting to change a little bit as we move here. Dude, this is a massive map too. Looks like we've got mountains up in the north. Eden Grove, Morningdale. Okay, interesting. And once you start getting into PvP when we're level 10 and we pick a faction and stuff like that. Ooh, gobble, gobble. We got a turkey over there. Let me, let me grab my bow. Did that kill him? Got him in one one shot, one headshot. All right. We'll take some turkey. Thanksgiving is coming up after all. We'll be ready for it. Got some feathers and some poultry there. But yeah, as I was saying, like once you can join a faction and stuff, then like different regions of the map are owned by different factions. And, and you know, you, you get benefits if you're... What? Soul Sprout? Requires a harvesting skill of 30. Interesting. But yeah, you get benefits like cheaper fast travel and, and all kinds of other stuff, which is, is kind of cool. So, you know, as as your team does well, so do you. Looks like we want to go left up this mountain here. Ooh, which, a sheep? He looks... He looks interesting. A churro sheep. What's, is he got dulce de leche in there, some caramel or some chocolate? Rawhide and red meat, okay. That's something we haven't seen before. Got crazy obelisks off in the background. People running by with no pants. Whoa, what is that? Let me see where that would be. That would be off to the right here somewhere. Is it this thing right here? The uncharted landmark. Interesting, travel there to learn more. Okay, I like it. It's a mystery. Obviously, there's some magic afoot here, so never really know what to expect here in the new world. Welcome to town, huh? Look at this. Nice little settlement. So we're going to go up top here. We want to talk to Avita Macia and let her know about the corruption that we've been dealing with down at the beach. How you doing, Avita? Hello there. I'm Misha. Misha. Tell me. How are things outside? There was the storm and then Shattered Mountain started spewing corruption. It's bad, isn't it? It's kind of like that Shattered Obelisk we saw. Fiddlesticks, I knew this would happen. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm in a decades long string of bad luck. So Misha wants us to go talk to the Clark about it. This is the Clark right here, Belion oh, Clark. Looks sure like a general of some sorts. But let's keep our trims up. Back the report from Watcher Reese any moment. Well, here's the report. Can't be good, can it? Mm. Yes, this confirms our suspicions. The corruption is indeed surging. I trust you're the person to whom Reese refers. Then you've already earned my respect. Already got his respect. You've done your duty for Everfall, and I salute you for that. Perhaps, but I insist you check in at the inn first. Whether it's here or another settlement, every soldier needs a warm bed. So you want me to go take a nap? That, sir, I can absolutely do. Okay, where... I guess the inn's gonna be back this way. Is this... This is literally it right here. Go talk to the inn. How you doing, Osei Kamu? Welcome to the autumn rest. Always a colorful place to be. You're here to check in. Be my guest. Haha. <laughs> literally. Okay. I'm gonna register. Would you like to check in? So I had a recall and respawn at this settlement from anywhere in the world. Nice. So you could have inns in different towns too. You could have houses that you can travel to. You can have inns that you can travel to. You can have campfires you can set up. You're feeling fully rested now if you need that. Okay, so this this is great. So he sent me back up to Mesha. And basically we're thinking, let's, you know, stock up, build some weapons, you know, kind of fortify our defenses, that sort of thing. So they won't want us to go um, collect resources. Since we were already out there hitting trees and gathering wood from bushes and stuff like that. We're almost done. We just need to go hit a couple of rocks and, and our next objective's gonna be done. So see, it, it pays to, to be on top of it. We're out here grinding, doing more than is expected of us and it's, it's helping us out. Dude, this is beautiful. So next up, it wants us to head back. We're gonna create some timber at the wood shop, some stone block at stone cutting, which we already did one of, and then some coarse leather at the tannery. Sounds like we're gonna be making some armor and maybe some like, you know, war hammers or something like that. 10 of, of these are technically nine since we already made the one stone block. So we're gonna make nine there. Gonna be able to add to our stone cutting. Beautiful. Then I believe we're gonna wanna make, uh, I 
don't think we want that all up top here. I think is is this where ah this is like the wood cutting station, the wood shop. So we're gonna make tin timber. Beautiful, love it. Love the did I just I. I just love games like this. It's just so satisfying to just be out here cutting down trees and turning it into timber. It's something about it. It just, it, it, it tickles my fancy. Ooh, get it, get it, get it. Killing it up there. Okay, that's, that's, oh, well, it's, I thought it was good. I didn't think it was worth sleeping through, but okay, you do you. Here's our, our tannery. Going to be able to make four, was it four? How many want to make four coarse leather at the tannery? We've got lots of, of leather. We took down lots of boars, so that's that's on us. Back up top here, we're gonna talk to Maisha. She's gonna be very happy. We've collected all the raw materials and made them into Go ahead, just actual materials. What happened? Nothing? No freak boulders falling on you or anything like that? No, we're good. Wow. I can't believe it. Your bad luck stops here, Maisha. I got you. From now on, anytime you like, visit me or the town board. You can take any tasks that suit your fancy. Okay, so these are going to be kind of like, you know, side missions and stuff. Forge and deliver cleaving crude iron armaments. Five travel rations. Acquire and deliver 40 feathers. So we can earn coins, territory standing, XP, stuff like that. Kind of cool there. But let's see what now our next... On, I pushed my luck far enough for today. Take this stuff to the Artificer. Okay. See Artificer Petrowski. Artificer Petrowski. We'll go see her. So you're the newcomer Clark was talking about? Hmm. Don't see what there is to be so impressed about myself. I'm impressed by the size of that hammer, not gonna lie to you. A little little I understand you've been working intimidating. She is a unique leader, is she not? A little nervous, but she's Very I well, looking at what you refined here. You might have some talent. Let's find out then, shall we? Here's a satchel of ore. Smelt it, and then try your hand at the forge. Okay, so we've got the heavy satchel of ore here. We're going to open this up. That's going to give us 20 rawhide and 90 iron ore. Iron ingots. We want to craft the nine of these bad boys. Okay. Then to the forge, we're going to be able to make the iron long sword. Okay, so we get iron ingots. We smelt them. We turn it into weapons. We can build our own weapons. Obviously, you can buy them from the community. I'm sure you can find them in supply caches and stuff like that, but that's pretty cool. Let That's... me see the stick of metal you've produced. Indeed. It appears to be satisfactory for a novice. Nice. It literally, anything and everything can be you crafted can and broken down. Or anything else you forge to the trading post. The magistrate will make purchases for the arsenal. So now they want us to go around and talk to each of the factions. This is what we were talking about earlier on in the video. There are three factions you can choose from. Those who are similarly inspired. It's the covenant here, the red. Spirit, harmony, and brotherly love. What is life even worth? Whether in the old world or here in Eternum, we fight for the spark that unites all life across all time. Spirit, harmony, and brotherly love. I mean, that's a pretty good one. You guys can see all these people with the, the signs above their head. Those those are which ones they belong to. So here we've got the Marauders, the green team. The Marauder Commander. Tell me more the about what you got. We are a community of warriors who believe in self-improvement. If we are blessed with eternal life, we should use it to sharpen our combat skills to perfection. Okay, self-improvement, perfectionists. Honestly, that kind of resonates with me. Still am a fair amount to this day, but to be honest, you know, more so back in the day in school and stuff like that. School projects, group projects, anything like that. Mega perfectionist. Let's see what the syndicate are all about. to seek knowledge? Then this is proof you have wisdom. Let me put it this way. In this world, there are those who think and those who do not. We are the former, and we look down on the latter. We believe in facts and science. Okay. So the marauders are, are you know, camaraderie, teamwork, that sort of thing. Or no, that, that was the covenant. The covenant were, were camaraderie, brothers, family, that sort of thing. The marauders are a little bit more on the, you know, kind of self-improvement, fighting, being strong side. And then syndicate are a little bit more thoughtful, a little bit more Meet with intellectual. Meet each of the three factions and decide which is best. 
All right, I'm ready. If you're called to service as a soldier. I think these outfits are the only option. There have been other military orders in the past, and with luck, there will be more in the future. But for now, we have these three. Oh, interesting. So now it's going to be time to join an allegiance. So now it's going to be time to choose an allegiance. Oh, man. I, so if you want me to be honest, purple's my favorite color. We're, we're going to go with the syndicate, man. I kind of like the idea of being a little bit more thoughtful. And we've, we've talked about, you know, we might... We might be a little bit more on, on like the mage, the wizardy side, and I, I feel like that kind of makes the most sense with the syndicate I see here. That inquisitive sparkle in your eye. It is the same with us all. Knowledge stands above all things. That is our code. Count me in. Why join a faction? Well, you can engage in special faction missions, be able to get XP, coin, tokens, earn influence, compete strategically. You gain access to elite faction gear, which you can use some of those faction tokens to be able to get these special pieces of gear. And then also enjoy the benefits of territory control. We did talk about that. Reduce cost for workshops and fast travel, complete town missions, that sort of thing. Um, you've also got PvP and faction war, so you can, you know, go out and fight against other players in the world. You, you don't have to. You could literally just play solo the whole time, but you can earn extra XP, and I feel like PvP is actually going to be pretty fun. Faction War 50 versus 50. Siege combat at a territory's fortress, stuff like that. Yeah, this, this is pretty cool. This is what I was telling you guys. Each section of the map can be controlled by certain factions, and then you have your, like, stronghold that you have to defend and stuff. It's, um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to go with the syndicate here. Your choice is impermanent. You can change your faction from the bio screen once. After that, you can change it again every 120 days, dude. Now that you are one of us, you will one have of access us. to that one of us in time. But first, I have a challenge for you. What's the challenge? By now, you're sure to have seen the Crimson Corrupted Forces that terrorize this island of arcane mysteries. The war between the corrupted and the living is more important than any petty faction. We're all on the same team, baby. The Corrupted have overtaken a farm called Bradbury Fields. Go there and retrieve samples of the Corrupted seeds for the Syndicate's research. Interesting. I'll take it. So the, the Syndicate are literally like doing research to, to help stop the Corrupted. We're not just talking about fighting it back and working together and stuff like the other factions are doing. We're trying to find a cure a, a solution not not just beat it into to you know smithereens so that's kind of cool i feel like this is a good spot to stop this first episode dude i'm i'm so excited for this game man i mean just just look we we started where like here we started here on the stolen shores and we came to here this is the amount of of territory that we've covered we also went up to faith's bounty this is the size of the map we have a crazy journey in front of us and i can't wait to make the syndicate proud let me know which faction you guys chose if you guys have been playing and let me know if you guys want to see more i really think we are on the the cusp of something great here i'm really excited about this game so hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching drop a like if you did if you guys want to play new world for yourselves make sure you check out that top link down in the description i want to give new world a massive massive thank you for sponsoring this first episode even though it was sponsored like i, I genuinely had a, a really great time here like this is a fantastic game so hope that you guys enjoyed Thank you to you guys for your support. As always, let me know if you guys want to see this be a series. Let me know if you want a part two. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Again, top link down in the description. Check out New World for yourself. Peace out.